Para nosotros, como nos huye, la coca es, tiene, tiene una importancia. Que es, Es una, 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 una comunicación con un teléfono para llamar a gente, para informar a la gente. Araraquara is a region steeped in culture, which has been inhabited for millennia. Situated in the northwest Amazon basin, it is an area of considerable biological and cultural diversity. Nowadays, the region is inhabited by indigenous communities and some colonists. The existence of Araraquara first drew public attention in the 1930s, when one of the country's most feared penal colonies was built there. The Colombian government believed that escape from the prison would be impossible. Indeed, there were few options for convicts trying to flee without being swallowed up by the forest. Downriver, it was a known territory. In upriver, there were many natural obstacles, such as the rapids, including the rapids of Araraquara itself. Despite the turbulence of the waters, the rapids of Araraquara support many different life forms. Aquatic plants offer little resistance to the forces of water, but manage to grow by clinging to the rocks. They establish symbiotic relations with other organisms. Other species keep their distance from the waters, taking advantage of the many different microhabitats around the rapids. And despite these extreme conditions, there are indigenous people and colonists who are brave enough to face the rapids and using just basic harpoons, they catch fish, which are then sold. They are not always successful and some of these local fishermen have paid for their bravery with their lives. Ahí nos que amanecen de 6 a 6 alumbrando. A esto que se acuesta por a las 9, 10 de la noche. The spaces between the rocks of the rapids create habitats where many ecological interactions take place. These microhabitats provide the necessary food for a variety of species, such as butterflies, which come close to the water edge in search of precious mineral salts needed for their metabolism. While some butterflies move in groups, to cut down on the wind resistance. Others approach the riverbank individually. By using their proboscis, which acts like a drinking straw, the butterfly sucks the mineral rich water. The dynamic of the Amazon rivers means that water levels can rise and fall by up to 10 meters. This creates a constantly changing landscape and the butterflies also make use of the beaches, which appear in the summer period. The 
The waters of the Amazon rainforest vary in color. From the whitish clay of the rivers coming direct from the Andes, such as the Caquetá River, to the black reflective waters of the Yari River, which is known as the River of Mirrors. The forest is not an empty wilderness. Its biological diversity is accompanied by a diversity of cultural groups. Indigenous communities who have inhabited the Amazon for thousands of years have established a profound relationship with the forest based on ecological principles. Their lives are centered around the maloca or communal house which serves as a focal point for their interaction with nature. La maloca es como decir una defensa de la vida de, del hombre, del dueño de la madre o de la tribu de, de un, un indígena. Son las defensas de, un, de una tribu, me ha dicho, porque ahí se hace todo, se hace, se habla, se cubre, se, se baila, se dialoga, bueno, de ahí sale todo. Aside from providing a living space, the Maloca represents the indigenous cosmos. With a rich traditional symbolism, it is also the space for sacred rituals. Coca and tobacco are sacred cups, which provide the cultural context for many indigenous groups in the Amazon. Use and consumption of these crops have to follow strict traditional rules. Coca and tobacco are linked to the sacred word and therefore to the oral dialogue that is the basis of indigenous management of the forest. The coca plant is seen to represent people and a special relationship must be established, which is exclusively male-dominated. The forest, which appears virgin and untouched, has been used and cultivated by indigenous people during thousands of years. Use of a forest includes the establishment of chagas, which are small areas used for the growing of crops. The cycle of the chagra implies a whole series of steps. The selection of an appropriate site the cutting down of trees, the burning of remaining vegetation, the planting and the harvesting of crops. The process is complete when the land is returned to the natural spirit owners and it is left to regenerate into forest. Juca is the staple diet of the indigenous people and there are many varieties of juca that grow in the Amazon. The plant is seen to represent women, and the female members of the community spent much of her time in cultivating and cooking yuca. With the daily preparation of food, the smoke from the fires helps to preserve the roof of the maloca, which is made from thatched leaves. The roof protects the families living inside, and allows both domestic and ritual tasks to be carried out within the maloca, such as the making of tools or cultural objects. It is here that the community seeks to maintain a balance of harmony within the group and with nature. Use of the forest demands a profound and ongoing reflection among the communities. 
an extensive knowledge about the forest's natural resources and about relationships with other species which share this environment and how to maintain a balance so that all species can continue to live in harmony. The vast biological diversity and the high level of cultural diversity are threatened by the accelerated processes of change that we are all experiencing. Traditional knowledge must be respected and valued if there is to be an informed dialogue, which in turn will allow us to understand and be better prepared to face the challenge of preserving the diversity of this region. Yahoo! 